Hi, I'm Brigida. I'm Margaret. And I'm Drew. And we're your Youth and Park Rangers. We're going to be taking you to all the national parks in the state of New Mexico. And today we're headed to... Aztec Ruins National Monument. The ruins here at Aztec Ruins National Monument are part of the Puebloan communities that flourished around the Four Corners area. The rest ruin, as seen here, contained around 400 rooms and rose to three stories in height. In addition to the West Ruin, there is another ruin 150 yards to the east called the East Ruin, which is yet to be excavated. What's unique about these ruins is that the architecture here is similar to the architecture found in Chaco Canyon. Additionally, pottery shards have been found here similar to those in Mesa Verde, which hints that over time the influence shifted from Chaco to Mesa Verde. I find it really interesting that both people from Mesa Verde and Chaco may have lived here at different times in history. I'm standing in front of a three-walled structure here at Aztec National Monument and what's unique about this ruin is the three walls. There are not many of these types of structures in Pueblo ruin ruins to this day and the outer ring had rooms. There was 14 rooms in that ring. The inner ring then had eight rooms and the innermost ring as you can see is circular and that was a, believed to be a kiva which has lots of religious significance to the Native Americans. My favorite part about the Aztec ruins is being able to walk through all the different rooms at the Pueblo. It's cool to be able to walk through the same doors that the Pueblo people who lived here 900 years ago walked through. Another nice part about the Pueblo is it's cool, as opposed to being out in the baking sun this summer, we're inside in the shade. I'm standing here in the West Pueblo in a room that used to be inhabited. Um, you can still see the original spruce, pine, or fir ceilings. Um, and they brought the wood from forest 20 miles to the north of here. Um, what's so cool about this Pueblo is that you can walk through these ruins where you know people used to be living. With the trail taking you through the first floor of the Pueblo, you are able to gain a more intimate understanding of the Puebloans' daily life. The trail passes through a series of rooms that had a wide variety of uses that range from storage to burial space to living quarters. Over time, the uses of these rooms changed as the Pueblo was modified to better suit those living in it. The Great Kiva is one of the main attractions here at Aztec Ruins. Excavated in 1921 and rebuilt 13 years later by archaeologist Earl Morris, the Great Kiva is the only rebuilt kiva out of dozens like it throughout the Southwest. Many archaeologists agree it was a public building, built and used by the people of this community and others nearby for ceremonial and other community functions. I'm standing here in the Great Kiva of Aztec Ruins. Um, what's so cool about this room is that archaeologist Earl Morris um, reconstructed it the way that he thought it would have been back when people inhabited this place. Um, so as you look around, the walls are painted. Um, they found little chips of these colors of paint when he was first excavating this site. Um, and so that's how they thought or came to think that the colors were dark red and white. Morris built this reconstruction based on the original remains of the kiva he uncovered. Fifteen rooms encircle the center chamber, but their purpose is still unclear. Four massive pillars hold up the ceiling. In the Kiva Morris uncovered, each pillar rested on four limestone disks that came from mountains at least 40 miles away. The purpose of the large floor vaults to the side of the central firebox is not known for sure. Archaeologists speculate that they may have been covered with wood and used as foot drums, or perhaps were used for germinating seedlings, a use still seen in some pueblos today. Which I also think is just so cool about this place is that you can stand here in this great room that was of such um, significance and importance to the people who lived here um, and sort of get a feeling for what it was like when they were here. This reconstructed kiva gives visitors an incredible experience unique to Aztec. Come visit the monument yourself to truly appreciate the feeling of standing inside such a significant structure and to see the rest of what the monument has to offer.